Okay, you get a chance to see what I actually did here. Um, you already know that I soldered inside here. See right here. I soldered there. The wire is coming through out the back side. And I have a connector on right here. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the other part of the connector, which is here. This plugs right inside like that. Well, this part is going to be going, this part is going to be connected to the wire that connects to this area here. Whatever this pin is, or the wire that wire that mates to this pin I'm going to I'm going to cut that part put this on and then put the connector in so that it can make contact with the four prongs and then connect this on the outside and then we're going to see if this is going to work I don't see why it shouldn't <laughs> this is what you have to do sometime thinking outside the box. This is going to save some money and it is a good repair. If you do it right, you can drive all the way to California with this. This vehicle has only 17,000 miles on it. Actually, it got it in Nevada. And we're going to see if we can get this to work. Come back online. Okay, this is a C230, and this is the Mercedes Benz that I was talking about. This has 17,000 miles on it. And I wanted to get under here now. And show you what I did. You can see. All right, here is the connector. Let's see where is it? Here, there's the connector. Let's see, you can see, put that light somewhere. Right here. And here is the wire that I cut. Put this connector here. Here is the one that is hanging off of that computer. I don't know if you can see the head, but there. See the head. See here. <laughs> back to this part take back to this part and then I'm that wire that's dangling right here that's behind coming out the computer where we solder which is right here will be connected to this part right here I'm going to tie this part up Tape it up pretty good. Then we're going to see if we can, we're going to put this together, and then we're going to see if this computer comes back online after we put everything back together. See if we solve the problem here. So let me hook everything up. Well, there's one thing that I had to do 
differently. This did not want to, I had to cut the connector off. I had to re-solder this back on. But it did not want to clip onto this transmission case connector. And there is a reason for that. I'll show you. In there, let's see if I can show you that. Inside here, you can see right uh, here, this solder there. And the solder fills the gap and prevents this from going all the way down. If you look here on this harness side, This nose right here, this, this nose, fits, it, it fits into a groove. You see the groove that goes all the way around. And that solder is blocking that groove. So it would not allow me to press the connector completely on. So what I had to do was notch this part so that when I push it on, it can go around the solder. Okay, turn the ignition on. What we're gonna do is see if um, what I did worked. I already had this in the system. I think it's six two. see if this transmission module can be read if I can communicate with it. see something. Messages online is in park. So that fix worked. I was able to bring the computer back online without having to go and buy a whole new computer which is inside the transmission, the transmission control module. And it didn't have to be programmed. The reason I wanted to fix this because this bit only has 17,000 miles on it. And that's here. With the computer not working, if you look here at the dash, you can see it's in park. But all of that was lit up. Park, reverse, neutral, drive, everything was just lit up. And the transmission was in left-in mode. 
this only has 17,000 miles on this car. So I wanted to keep the same computer system in here. Let's see if I can let you see that. Uh -oh. All right, let's see the mileage on this thing that they show. See here, this has only 17,400 miles. That's why I wanted to fix this computer. Um, I wanted to keep the same original computer with this vehicle. Now I have some more issues with it. This car was in an accident. And they had everything straightened out, frame and everything, which I guess the frame wasn't so bad, but um, when they put the transmission back in, they bent the prong. Somebody did, which is why I had to fix it the way I had to fix it. Well, either that or buy a brand new one. I didn't want to do that. But um, the park reverse neutral drive, it works now. That was all lit up. Park first neutral dry. And I can see the live data now, which means that that fix that I did worked. Um, it, I did scan this computer. It does have some engine codes like wiring issues. The wiring might have been cut or something. But other than that, it's ready to go. Ready to go. Ready to go. That's thinking outside the box. <laughs>